There's a place where students can go when they have nowhere else to go. There's a place where students can go to get help when they need it. There's a place where students can go to learn science. Who is there hiding in the darkness? It is I, Dr. Green. I don't have science class. Sounds like you could use some help in thermochemistry. So let's go to Dr. Green's Funhouse, where we learn science. I'm Dr. Green, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you a few things about thermochemistry. First, however, a few fundamental concepts need to be known. Energy is defined as the capacity to do work. Internal energy of a system is the sum of all kinetic and potential energies of all its components. So in finding the change of internal energy, it's easy with the obvious equation of delta E is equal to E final minus E initial, where delta E is the change in internal energy of the system. So what does delta E tell you? Basically, if delta E is positive, the system will gain energy from its surroundings, which means it is an endothermic reaction. On the other hand, if delta E is negative, the system lost energy to its surroundings and is an exothermic reaction. Another important concept to understand is relating delta E to heat. You must recall, however, the first law of thermodynamics, which is something I am sure all of you have heard before. No, I don't think I have. It's the universal truth that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So to understand this, it is best to imagine it as a system where energy that is lost by the system must then be gained by the surroundings, and vice versa. So with that under your belt, the classic equation for relating delta E to heat and work is delta E equals Q plus W, where delta E is the change in internal energy, Q is the heat added or liberated from the system, plus the work W done on or by the system. Hello, I am Dr. Timberwolf, and we have a special thermochemistry song, sung by Dr. Green.